Your ultimate goal should be to make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. And I'm not talking about the day of the week, Wednesday. I'm talking about W-I-N-S, Wednesday. So when that person comes up to you and says, do you know what time it is? You look them dead in the eye and say, it's winning time. Because that's where your mind is at. See, losers focus on winners. (laughs) But winners focus on winning. Winners wake up every day with this mindset that no matter how successful they are, no matter how great they are, they always act like they're losing. They always act like they're the underdog. That way they keep the edge. What's your mindset? Are you thinking that you're going to win no matter what? Now I'm not saying that winning is everything. What I am saying is, wanting to win is. If you think like a loser, losing will find you. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or whether you think you cannot, you're probably right. If you can find a way to positive in the middle of a negative situation, then you, my friend, ultimately win. Don't think for one second that you were put on this earth to lose. You were born to win. See, winners are willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else does. When two winners collide, I love those epic battles because you hate to see somebody lose. And in that instance, No one really loses. One team got the victory. The other team learned. See, winners are not people who never fail. Winners are people who never quit. Winners are people who never give in. Their mindset is, I'm in it to win it. And they always feel like it's winning time. If right now you feel like you're a loser, I need you to do me a favor. Find yourself a mirror and repeat after me. I came to win. I came to fight. I came to conquer. I came to thrive. I came to win. I came to survive. I came to prosper. I came to rise. I came to fly. I believe in me. Right now I subscribe to the thought process that it's winning time. Victory lives in me. And although I may not win every battle, you gotta say to yourself, I will rise every time I fall. I will win. And it may not be immediately, but I definitely will win. Because champions don't show up to give everything they want. They show up to give everything they have. For far too long, you've allowed the volume of your past misfortunes, your past setbacks, and your past failures to play way too loudly in your speaker of life. I need you to turn down your past failures and make room to turn up your future success. So your problem is you keep waking up each and every day from a great night's sleep. 12 o'clock. One o'clock, two o'clock, whenever you want to wake up. My problem is, you're not even tossing and turning in your sleep. Just 1,000% comfortable. But then you wake up every day complaining about you not being where you want to be at in your life. At least if you're going to sleep, do some tossing and turning. So I know something is uncomfortable. Because all the growth happens in the uncomfort zone. When you're comfortable, you can't grow. You refuse to raise your standards. You refuse to push yourself. You refuse to give a little bit more. Give a little bit extra. The 
difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little bit of extra. You want to be a next level resider, but you won't do the things to live in the next level zone. Say it like this. I don't know if you know, but in a sport of track and field, that's one event called the pole. And what happens when the pole baller, he has a long pole, and his job is to run down this lane, put that pole in the ground, raise himself up, and go over a bar. Successful pole vaulters always want to raise the bar. So if they jumped over 16 feet, they wanted to go to 16.5. And then they want to go to 17 feet and then 17 five and continue to raise the bar. Your problem is you jump over 15 feet. You want to stay at 15 feet. I used to tell my son all the time. He was playing back. And I look up the score was like a hundred and something to zero. And I'm like, son, who are you playing against? And I would look and there would be him sitting on the bed playing and there would be a controller right by him with nobody playing. But he had the game set on two people. So he's playing nobody. He wasn't raising the bar. He couldn't get any better. He just wanted to win the easy way. But I've told you this a thousand times. There is no easy route. So if you want success, you gotta raise the bar. The next level thinkers, the next level winners, the next level champions, they never get complacent. They never get comfortable. They continue to raise the bar.